In this presentation, we'll get to learn how to analyze graphs, charts, and tables. What to analyze in the first step? Now, graphs, and charts, and tables are known as visuals used to represent findings of a statistical study or to depict a scientific or literal information. And they have different forms. Now, the graphs can be represented in two ways, either a line graph or a circular graph. How to analyze? In order to analyze a graph, you have to follow the four steps, starting with the title, where you show the type of the graph or the table or the chart. Then you follow it with the verb, and the verb has to be in the present simple tense, like the bits, illustrates, shows, or presents. Then you follow the verb with the title of the chart or the graph that you're analyzing. Step number two, you list the variables. You study the variables along with their units, so that you say the type of the graph or the table or the chart studies the variations of x with respect to y calculated in the following units. Number three, you study the key features. Here you compare and you contrast the variations. Remember to use the transitions of comparing and contrasting, like both, however, unless, while, whereas, etc. Here you'll list the highest values and the least ones. Finally, in step number four, you come up with a conclusion where you write what you did use from the variations given. In this slide, we'll learn how to analyze the given bar graph. As we can see, the title of the bar graph is birthday of students by month. In the x-axis, we can see the months given of the year and on the y-axis, we can see the number of the students given. As we can see from the bar graph, that the highest number of the students celebrating their birthday is in June. However, the least are in August. Now, how can we write an analysis for this? As the steps say, we start with the title. So, the bar graph shows the birthday of students by month. And step number two is to show the variables. So what are the variables here? The variables of this bar graph are the months given on the x-axis and the y calculating the number of the students celebrating their birthdays for the month given. Then we have to compare and contrast the variables. The highest number of the students celebrating their birthdays is in June and October respectively. However, the lowest are in August and in March as we can see from the bar graph. Analyzing pie charts has to follow the same strategy as the previous one. So again, we start with the title, then we study the variables, then we compare and contrast them, and finally we come up with a conclusion. This pie chart shows the method of transportation to school used by students. There are four different variables given, the bicycle, the walk, the school bus, and car. These are the means of transportation used and they are calculated in percentages. When we compare them, the highest percentage goes to the school bus where it consumes like 40% and as to the lowest, it goes to the car where 15% of the students use this mean of transportation. In this slide, we can see the line graphs given here where we study the male and female learners by grades in ordinary schools in the year of 2001. Now, the blue one shows the females the pink line graph shows that of the males. So we have two line graphs given in here that we need to compare and to contrast them. We can see that the line graph of the females and the males numbers are both having the same variations. So they are both increasing from pre-primary into grade one, and then they would decrease from grade one into grade two. So then we would have a dramatic increase until grade eight, and then we would have a slight decrease up to grade 12. Here we have the table and we do the same thing. Start with the title and then we follow it by listing the variables. And here I have the variables, the years, pair grade 12, the drop up trade, the enrollment of grade 10, the enrollment in grade two, and the percentage of dropout since grade 10. And finally, we have analyzing pictures. Here we have the life cycle of a butterfly say that the picture shows the life cycle of a butterfly starting with the egg and then it moves to be a caterpillar and then it changes to be in the pupa from the pupa it goes to be an emerging butterfly and then it turns to be an adult butterfly that would actually lay eggs again and the cycle of a butterfly would go round and round.
In this presentation, we have analyzed graphs, charts, tables, and pictures. Hopefully, it was of great help to you. If you have any questions about it, don't forget to contact me.